Overlays allow us to place one clip on top of another, display two clips at once, either in a split screen or a picture-in-picture -picture style, or use just the audio from one clip for another. Here in the media browser, when we tap on a clip, we can tap Add to place it in the timeline, or tap Play to view it, or tap on this ellipsis button, and we get four overlay options. The first will place only the audio from the clip here in the media browser to wherever the playhead is down in the timeline. This can be useful if the audio of a certain track isn't very good or has someone talking over it, but the audio of another track would make a better fit. The next three options here are video overlays. First, we have a full overlay. This adds the clip into the timeline at the playhead on top of the current clip in the timeline. We have full control of this clip. It can be moved, trimmed, have the speed or volume adjusted, or have a filter applied. When we play this back, the clip we added is fully displayed over the original but the original clip's audio is playing. With this clip selected, we can tap the Overlays button here to switch to a picture-in-picture -picture overlay or a split-screen option. Let's do split-screen first. Notice in the icons, there's a solid outline around one box and a dotted one around the other. The solid box represents the overlay clip. So with this first option, the overlay clip is displayed on the right. As we go on, I can place the overlay clip on the left, the top, and the bottom. In the viewer, tap on the magnifying glass, and we're able to adjust the position and zoom of the clips in the split screen. So I could pinch to zoom out on the overlay clip to make sure none of its frame is cropped out. Switch to Picture in Picture, and we have two controls up in the viewer. With the first, we can drag to reposition the box, and pinch to zoom to adjust the box's size. Tap the magnifying glass to adjust the size and location of the video within the Picture in Picture box. So the overlay controls are quite powerful here in iMovie for iOS. They allow a lot of flexibility if you want to display multiple clips to the viewer at once.